VA ECMO is often performed using peripherally placed cannulas, typically placed in the femoral vessels. This animation shows arterial ECMO access in the femoral artery. With extreme cardiac dysfunction on ECMO support, if the heart is not beating and the aortic valve is not opening, the blood being pumped through this cannula provides 100% of the patient's blood flow. In this scenario, there's no mixing of the two circulations since no circulatory support is being provided by the native heart. Upon return of cardiac function, when the heart starts to beat and the aortic valve begins to open, the situation becomes quite unique. Because the peripherally placed ECMO cannula is pumping blood in a direction that is retrograde to the native blood flow, the two circulations merge or mix together in a location somewhere between the aortic valve and the arterial cannula. As left ventricular function is restored and contractility increases, the mixing cloud may shift distally in the aorta towards the arterial cannula. The same shift can occur if the ECMO blood flow is decreased. Conversely, as ECMO blood flow is increased, or as left ventricular function decreases, the mixing cloud may shift more proximally in the aorta. Let's take a closer look at this phenomena. Once again, with severe cardiac dysfunction, if the aortic valve is not opening, blood mixing does not occur in the aorta. However, as the heart begins to eject, blood traversing the aortic valve begins to mix with blood traveling retrograde from the arterial cannula. In the scenario shown in this animation, blood sampled at various sites throughout the body would have a similar composition. The exception may be the coronary arteries due to their proximal takeoff from the ascending aorta. As the heart contracts more and more forcefully, or as ECMO flows decrease, the location of the mixing cloud can migrate more distally in the aorta. In the scenario illustrated here, consider the impact of the circulatory pattern on cerebral perfusion. The brachiocephalic artery is perfused by blood from the left ventricle, which may be poorly oxygenated. However, the distal arch vessels are perfused by a mixture of blood being pumped from the left ventricle and blood pumped from the ECMO circuit. Blood sampled from the right radial artery, for example, may have a composition that is markedly different from blood sampled at the ECMO arterial line. As the heart continues to recover and contractility increases, or as ECMO flows decrease further, the mixing cloud can continue to shift distally. Again, consider the impact of these scenarios on regional perfusion and on differences in blood sampled from various sites in the body versus blood sampled from the ECMO arterial line. In addition to understanding where this mixing occurs, the ECMO specialist should understand the significance of mechanical ventilation in these scenarios. Blood being ejected from the left ventricle generally perfuses the coronary arteries and may provide cerebral perfusion. So care should be taken to adequately oxygenate blood traversing the aortic valve if the lungs are capable.